Well, imagine city life 100 years ago. A new photographic exhibition is taking a look at Adelaide then and now, capturing the past and present in a single snapshot. Keith Conlon with this Step Back in Time. Two moments in time, 100 years apart. They're wonderful pictures and they do showcase Adelaide in the early days that uh, a lot of people probably haven't seen. This is Adelaide in 1914 and 2014, cleverly merged to form a picture of life a century ago and now. You get a real sense of the, the period there, but in, in one way, not much has changed. No, it hasn't. You know, like, you know, it's still inundated with people, so it's, still, <laughs> yeah. it's still a very busy area uh, yep. in Lee. Eleven digital montages make up the Transitions exhibition, which is currently on display at the State Library. Created by award-winning photojournalist John Donegan, the collection mixes original photos lifted from glass plate negatives with a combination of several present-day images taken with a digital camera. Each photo is electronically blended and the end result? A snapshot of the past and the present. Nord Parade's interesting because you've got you got the old tram coming down, of course. It's a fantastic shot, isn't it? And you've got those people just gradually gliding across the road with the tram in there. So, wonderful shot. Also captured the Glenelg train. Yep, it ran from the bay to King William Street, and this shot is taken from outside the courts. This is about the right spot, isn't it? And a particularly historic photo, too, because it was taken 100 years ago on the last day when the train came all the way down to Victoria Square. After that, you had to head down to South Terrace to catch it. The train service survived until 1929 when the famous Glenelg tram replaced it. These original photos were sourced from the State Library, which is in the process of copying thousands of old photographs into a digital format. It's a wonderful thing seeing these great images and being able to access them either through um, your computer at home or coming into the library. The exhibition runs until the 1st of December. Keith Conlon, Nine News.